In recent years, I have received many questions about job opportunities and whether AI will replace you in programming. I always answer people, no, instead of worrying about AI replacing you. Take the initiative to work with it. Make it your ally, thereby improving the quality of your work and skills. Today, I will try to experience using AI to write my project, and that is Pure Code AI. An AI specializing in UI design. As a person who is quite picky about design, and this is also the first time I experience Pure Code, my personal comments and reviews below are also the objective results from the first use. So if anyone has used it, you can leave a comment to help me add or edit the reviews in my video. Thank you. Now let's get started. I have prepared a React Tailwind CSS source code here, and of course it is nothing. Let's see what the result will be after using AI as a project. The interface looks pretty friendly. Now I'll go create an account. The monthly fee mentioned here is $20. But that's okay because we'll have a seven day free trial before deciding so just sign up after i successfully signed up it took me here here it has prepared for us a lot of sample requests along with many different types of requests but i will not use it because maybe if using these sample requests it will answer very well because it is pre-programmed but will it understand the request that i create myself and that is how i will test and evaluate this ai I will try to ask it to generate a product list including product price, image, and rating. And of course with a modern design. If it can understand it, it will probably generate a sample product list, but in reality, we always have API to get real product list, right? So here I will get free sample API on the internet. It is an API with sample product list. I will ask it to use this API to get the product list to try. Here, it also allows us to customize in advance. Wow. It allows us to choose the theme color, font, and size. You can choose the color that suits your current project. Now, let's wait and see the result. It actually gets the data from the API. I think the interface is quite good. It also creates a feature to sort by rating and price. And it can read the category from the API to classify. It also gives us a preview of the responsive result here. It also gives us two other design options. Hmm, I think I still like the first interface the best. However, the first design still has problems. I will try clicking on this part of the image and ask it to shrink the image so we can see the full image. Yes, that is what I want. Also, since our product image has a white background, I will also ask it to change the background to white. Up to now, I think this AI experience is quite good. But you know what? Whether an AI for design and programming is really good or not depends a lot on the code it creates. So now let's come to the most important step in this experience. I will copy all of its code to test whether it works or not. I haven't seen any errors from VS Code so far and it actually worked the first time, which means the code returned by this AI is pretty complete. Let's see how it wrote the code. Here I see it uses React icon and imports Axios to call the API. It uses a one-time hook to execute the API and assign it to the product list. Okay. In fact, if we actually do this function with these code snippets, it will take us quite a lot of time. I agree that you can use this AI and it will help you save more time. If you use VS Code, you can use its extension right in VS Code instead of having to go to the web to use it. It has re-downloaded all my web requests when I came here. I can also see the results in code right here. After the first experience, I found that Pure Code AI is working well. The results are really beyond expectations. I will spend more time experimenting with it and add new findings to the comments section of this video. You guys should also try using this AI. Don't worry because we can use it for free for seven days to experience. And if you have any interesting experiences, please leave a comment to share with me. And finally, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to watch more interesting videos about programming and design. Thank you very much. See you all in the next interesting video.